this person and their grandparent witnessed something strange. They said the following about the encounter. This happened when I was a small child. I was around four after I experienced what I now know is a near-death experience. I was with my grandmother who was very healthy at the time. She is still very healthy for a 70-year-old woman. We went trekking across our property with a picnic basket in tow, just looking to sit down with our dog and have a nice time. We ended up crossing the creek that was dry at the time. This was to go back to the pasture. Around 50 yards away was our cedar tree. We'd sat down and started eating when our dog started acting crazy. This dog, bless her soul, was an angel. Our dog did not act like a dog most of the time. She never barked, never jumped and always acted polite. She started acting really strange and running around in circles around us. She kept on growling and barking. My grandmother got concerned so she put our picnic stuff back in the basket and tried to calm our dog down. I was sitting a few feet away and I was scared because my dog was growling. I admit my memory gets fuzzy around here, but I remember seeing a large grey creature step out of the creek. This is the creek we'd previously walked through. My grandmother scooped me up and booked out of there with our dog running with us. I'm 90% sure she ran to the cedar tree. She always talks about it being her favourite tree and how protective it is. The tree was a lot closer than her house. If I had to guess, I would say the house was roughly half a mile away at this point. I just know our dog calmed down and I was happier. I live in the south central of Arkansas, not far from Louisiana. I have no idea what it could have been. Someone suggested these creatures are wendigos or skinwalkers. It seems that over the past several years people have come into contact with them. Most who encounter them usually run away before getting evidence. This is because the witnesses are usually scared of what could happen if they stay too long. Both creatures are thought to harm humans, and there have been stories that have been passed down of them doing just this. Those who escape tell of these creatures looking like tall humanoids. This is said to be the most common appearance, and it's what allows them to get close to humans. So what do you guys make of these creatures, and have any of you had a similar encounter? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.